Hey Coyotes, this is the second installation of the Thursday Tech Day videos for this week. And so I um, first wanted to start off with TCEA again. And I know I showed you this in the last video, but I felt like I didn't really explain all the resources that are available. So I wanted to go in, back and just show you a couple things. They've got blogs, they've got um, various articles for you to read. There's a lot of resources again, a lot of interesting things for you. Um, even as non-members, but a lot of resources to look at. So this one really interested me, Semant semantic maps made easy. And we used to call these thinking maps in my previous district. So thinking maps kind of gives you um, some resources. And then again, down here, you they have tons of links to various additional resources for you. So um, if you were to go through this article, you'd have a lot of great ideas and then again rigor we're looking for rigor and deep thinking and then a video with it so a lot of good resources on tca and i just wanted to reiterate that because it is a great website for professional development and to help you glean some new ideas okay so for our next tech tool i wanted to show you obico i'm not really sure how to pronounce this it's either obico or obico or ubiku i'm not sure so I'm just going to call it Obico. So one of the things that I notice when I walk in a classroom sometimes is that you're finished with the lessons, students are finished with the assignments, and what do they do? The majority of the time I see them either with their head on their desk or they're playing on their phone and chit-chatting with other students. And while this is all good and well and your assignment is over, we still need to utilize class time. We need to make sure that we're trying to, that we have our lessons large enough and engaging enough to where we are engaging our students from bell to bell. However, if you do have an occasion where they finished a test or a quiz or they finished the assignment for the, for the day, they need to be engaged in academic activities or learning activities still. We want to maximize the time that we have them in the class, in the classroom. And so Obico is a website where you can get free books. And we know that Swirl, again, going back to the speaking, writing, reading, listening activities that we want our students involved in all the time, this is a great um, enrichment activity. We know that reading helps with language. It helps with vocabulary, with comprehension. And we know that the more students read, the more they're going to understand that academic language. They're going to have a larger vocabulary base. And so we really want them reading or involved in some kind of academic activity. So here, these all of these books are free. You can sign up and you basically you download the book that you're interested in. They have all sorts of books, fiction, nonfiction. And if you go in here, um, I'm interested in crime thriller, thriller and mystery books myself. And this one looked really interesting, the Gilgamesh Project. And if any of you have ever read Gilgamesh um, as a high schooler yourself or just because it was really interesting. So um, I downloaded it and it came into my, it came um, as a PDF. And so all I have to do is go to my downloads and here it is, the Gilgamesh Project, I've got a book. So I would always tell my students when they were finished with an activity in the classroom, I said, you have three options. You read, work on homework, or do Duolingo. And Duolingo is just one of the apps that they had on, available on their computer to be able to practice Spanish. And so, and even with ESL class. So oh, here you have tons of free books for students to be able to read and find something online that's interesting to them. But again, we just really want to maximize that classroom time. So if you have kids and they're finished with an assignment, read, work on homework, or um, work on an enrichment activity. And there's, I've given you bazillions, maybe not bazillions, but lots of resources for you to use in the classroom. So really easy to find some enrichment activities for students to be able to do. Again, maximizing that classroom time. Okay, so let's go to the, our next resource which is Google Arts and Culture and some of you may have seen this I've never seen this before and it's really interesting so there's a lot of stuff on here a lot of interesting this may be more geared towards art class or um, social studies in any of the geography classes there's a lot of great resources on here as well 
um, miscellaneous articles to read, some engaging activities, um, interactive. There's a little bit of history involved here. Um, there's games. So I looked on this one and it says games to play. And uh, this one is kind of a historical historical mix of arts and culture and geography. And so, um, you know, a game where you dun, 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 pick what came first. So you would have looked at these and picked what comes first. And I played it. I didn't do too great the first time. Notice it's timed. So here I'm going to look and see which one came first, Neil Arm Armstrong or Neptunian. I obviously don't know what it is, but I think this one came first. So I got that right. And I have three hearts. So for your kids, if they're playing, they get they start off with three hearts. And then as they lose a heart, then um, they're you know they lose the game if they lose three and i'm gonna say this is don quixote and sancho panza um oh no i didn't know that one i was just kind of looking okay so the hard disk drive or abbey road Ooh, that one's a hard one i know this one was was 1950s i'm gonna guess this one yay 1954 Okay, so, and again, you can just kind of see how it goes. Madonna or Mount Rushmore, obviously, Mount Rushmore is older. And if I were to lose, Return of the Particle Sun, the Royal Palace of Madrid. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to guess. Nope. So I got that wrong. So I, I lose a heart. Um, and then you lose three hearts. And then if you want to learn more, you can go down and say like, oh, um, I've been to the Royal Palace of Madrid. And I did when I lived in Portugal. So might want to learn more about that. Anyway, so a lot of different various activities for you to be able to do on Google Arts and Culture. And again, if we're thinking about enrichment activities, this could be an enrichment activity for students to do. They're reading, they're learning about history or geography. Um, and again, lots of art on here as well. Really interesting things for kids to explore and look into. Okay, the last resource for this video is going to be Would You Rather Math. So Would You Rather Math is basically, it's kind of a blog style web page and it has a bunch of Would You Rather questions that are math based. And so this one is Would You Rather Make $50,000 per year while everyone around you makes $25,000 per year or make $100,000 per year per year while everyone around you makes $200,000 per year. And basically the idea here is that students are supposed to come up with a response of which one they would rather do and be able to back it up with mathematic with math and using mathematical equations or math concepts they support their reasoning for why they would rather do one or the other and I think there's like 20 some odd would you rather's on here the interesting thing on here too is this can be used for any class so think about a would you rather and be able to support their response using whatever it is that you're learning in class. So um, if it's about history, would you rather be Cleopatra or Princess Diana? Explain your reasoning using history, historical facts that we've learned. So just in things like that. Um, and you can kind of come up with more, but would you rather, again, rigor, or if we're thinking about deep thinking and we're thinking about open-ended questions, giving students an opportunity to be able to explain using reasoning, using content that they've learned. So this is a great activity for students to be able to do. Okay, this concludes video two of, um, I might just call this like a Technopalooza week, but um, so I hope you enjoyed, hope you found some resources on would you rather, um, Google Arts and Culture, Obico, or TCEA. All right, we'll see you later and go Yotes!